This is Jefferson. It's called Jefferson's Confidential Letter to Congress, and um, it uh, it certainly is more than it seems. It's often uh, put with the collection of the Lewis and Clark Corps of Discovery materials, um, and essentially it's the letter where he asks money for money from Congress um, for getting money for the Corps of Discovery, and he asks for twenty five hundred dollars, but it's not till the very end. And what's interesting about it. And the reason I like it and I teach with it is because it's clearly not about the money. He's trying to tell Congress a much bigger story, and you really get a large idea um, in this one little letter of his whole theory of where the country should go and expansion and his philosophy of expansion and Indian policy and where Congress fits in to it. At the beginning, you get no indication that this is he's going to be asking for money and what it's for, anything like that. And, um, but, but I think the most important phrase here um, is that he ends with the public good um, because that's, um, that's going to be a theme throughout the letter. Um, then he says, the Indian tribes residing within the limits of the United States have for a considerable time been growing more and more uneasy at the constant dim diminution of the territory they occupy, although affected by their own voluntary sales, and the policy has long been gaining strength with them of refusing absolutely all further sale on any conditions, insomuch at this time it hazards their friendship and excites dangerous jealousies in their minds to make any overture for the purchase of the smallest portions of their land. A very few tribes only are not yet obstinately in these dispositions. So basically he's saying that, you know, we've been purchasing uh, land from these, these Indian tribes and uh, they, all of a sudden they're not very happy about it anymore and they won't do it anymore. So um, we're going to have to figure something else out. First, to encourage them to abandon hunting, to apply to the raising stock, to agriculture and domestic manufacture, and thereby prove to themselves that less land and labor will maintain them in this, better than in their former mode of living. The extensive forests necessary in the hunting life will then become useless, and they will see advantage in exchanging them for the means of improving their farms and of increasing their domestic comforts. Um, this is my favorite part of this letter because it's basically um, trying to ask the Indians to do what um, 